There is a reason that space is such a point of fascination for so many people. Nowhere else will you find so many instances of amazing phenomena and seemingly unanswerable questions. From strange strands at the centre of the Milky Way to subsurface moon volcanoes, there is no end to the points of fascination gathered in the cosmos. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent space discoveries and what they mean for those of us stuck here on Earth. Universe should not exist, say CERN scientists. If the complex inner workings of the universe seem like they were just too good to be true, you might need to think again. Recently, scientists conducting research through CERN in Switzerland have confirmed that, theoretically, the universe should not exist at all and should have annihilated itself pretty much as soon as it began. Although we have long recognised and understood how incredible it is that, out of all the Earth-like planets in the universe, ours was able to be placed under just the right conditions to develop the miracle of life, researchers studying the creation of the universe now say that the true miracle is that anything is even here at all. This incredible statement was made after careful study of the creation of our world from the context of the Big Bang Theory, which is, of course, the prevailing theory of how it all came to be in the first place. According to the theory, all the matter currently held within the universe, which is also all of the matter that has ever been in the universe, was once compacted into a small speck the size of a grain of sand that spontaneously exploded, sending all of that matter reeling out into what evolved and reacted with each other over billions of years to become the space that we think of today. This theory leaves a few pieces of the puzzle unaccounted for. For starters, there is no explanation for the Hubble constant, which is essentially the rate at which the universe continues to expand. But the CERN scientists set aside that issue in favour of a much, much larger one. If the Big Bang theory is indeed the correct one, then the particle explosion should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter, but researchers have been unable to locate antimatter in any significant quantities. Not only that, but if every particle of matter burst forth with an accompanying amount of antimatter, all of the pairs of opposite but equal particles would have attracted each other instantly, eliminating all chances for the creation of a universe in one indescribable cosmic energy explosion. Yet, clearly, that failed to happen. So, what gives? The short answer is that, as of this moment, we do not know, although it is not for lack of trying. CERN scientists working on the recently published study attempted to discover what might make antimatter particles just different enough from particles of actual matter so that they would not immediately attract and combust following the initial explosion. They were unable to find anything that could even begin to point them in the right direction. And they are not alone in the relentless search for an answer to what has become known as the matter-antimatter imbalance. Particle physicists across the world have been attempting to find the solution, but to no avail. As one of the CERN scientists, Christian Smora told Science Alert, all of our observations find a complete symmetry between matter and antimatter, which is why the universe should not actually exist. An asymmetry must exist here somewhere, but we simply do not understand where the difference is. What is the source of the symmetry break? And this question, what is the source of the symmetry break, is the one that is currently mystifying scientists as they attempt to find an answer to the cryptic question, why do we exist at all? Nearly 1,000 mysterious strands revealed in Milky Way's centre. One of the most exciting things about space is that we know we cannot see everything that lies beyond our atmosphere. This means that every time a new technological advancement is made in telescope, satellite or imaging technology, we get to learn about and discover a bit more of the space around us. Four decades ago, Farhad Yusuf Zadeh, a researcher at Northwestern University was able to utilize radio wavelength observations to capture stunning images of the mysterious center of the Milky Way that revealed strange cosmic ray electrons organized in magnetic one-dimensional strands stretching up to 150 light-years long. In the intervening decades, very little progress has been made in the discovery of what exactly these strands do and how they could have ended up there. A recent image taken from Saro's Meerkat telescope 
has been able to illuminate this mysterious region in a new light at last. Revealed in crisp detail are almost 1,000 strange strands dangling in space, paired or clustered, and spaced fairly regularly in a stacked formation amidst the radio emissions of surrounding cosmic events. Researchers working on the project were able to generate this image, which could very likely revolutionize the way that we view the ambiguous area at the center of the Milky Way by creating a mosaic of images taken from the Meerkat telescope at 20 different locations, all aiming towards the center. This technique generated a panoramic image with the background removed that left only a startlingly clear view of the strands which will allow for an amazing amount of further study as scientists attempt to unravel the mysteries surrounding these strange strands at the center of the Milky Way. But how do they hope to accomplish such a monumental task? For starters, the team of researchers is focused on gathering as much statistical data as possible about the strands, which they currently believe to be related to earlier activity of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way to detect any key variations among the particles, as well as to get a general idea of their properties. Additionally, they want to get a better understanding of the magnetic fields and cosmic rays surrounding the strands, which indicate that many of them likely do not share the same origin. To do this, each individual filament must first be carefully identified and catalogued. Another important element of the image is the fact that researchers will now be able to clearly observe the strands along with the passage of time and will be able to determine whether the strange filaments are constant or evolving. Although it seems that this image created more questions than answers, it acted as a door to amazing knowledge regarding the mysteries that lie at the center of the Milky Way, and hopefully many more answers will be revealed through the course of time. Europa has volcanoes on the floor of its subsurface ocean. Although Jupiter's icy moon Europa might not look like much on the surface, it is a source of great interest to astronomers studying space in general, as well as the potential for life outside of Earth. One of the prevailing reasons for this interest is the fact that Europa's unique surface is the smoothest surface of any known object in the solar system, and with a salty subsurface ocean beneath, many believe it could also potentially harbor some form of life within its waters. Because of this, astronomers have carefully studied all elements of the unique planet in detail so that they could gather a better understanding of what the contents likely look like, and one of the newest of these revelations is quite interesting. Recently published study results demonstrated, through 3D modeling, the most detailed study of the internal heating system and its effects on the icy surface that has been completed to date. The study showed how the core of the moon may produce enough heat to partially melt the rocky inner layer just enough to create subsurface volcanoes, further validating decades-long speculation regarding volcanic activity on Europa. Whereas other moons, such as Jupiter's neighboring moon Io, are highly volcanic with obvious activity, Europa's volcanoes, if they exist at all, have been much harder to pin down until now. The study details in great depth the flow of heat through the rocky area of the inner surface, as well as how the pull of Jupiter's gravity, which is much weaker on Europa than Io, likely helps to stoke these fires on the sea floor below the ocean, especially in areas near the poles where there is more heat generated. The team proposed that this volcanic activity has been continuing through the lifespan of Europa and will likely continue to do so, albeit in a much weaker capacity as the interior cools throughout the course of time. In Europa's case, a long-maintained volcanic sea floor slowly warming and circulating the ocean across the surface astronomically increases the opportunity for the development of extraterrestrial life forms. One of the researchers who published the study, Dr. Behunkova, said that Europa is one of the rare planetary bodies that might have maintained volcanic activity over billions of years, and possibly the only one beyond Earth that has large water reservoirs and a long-lived source of energy. This certainly creates exciting possibilities for researchers attempting to uncover the mysteries of space, especially as they continue in the quest for extraterrestrial life. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries that have expanded what we know about our planet and beyond? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.